Jesus Prays in the Garden. This is part of um, a series. Uh, it's a seven book series. This is number five in that series. You can find the series on homeschoolforlife.org. And it's taken right out of the, bat, uh, the Bible, uh, word for word. And um, when Jesus is praying in the garden, it's taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, 36 through 46. Jesus prays in the garden. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. So see, this is in red so that you know Jesus is saying that, those words. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and then, and distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is deeply grieved to the point of death. Remain here and keep watch with me. So he's telling the disciples that he's deeply, deeply distressed at this point. And he went to a little, a little beyond them and fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So you men could not keep watch with me for one hour? He says, I, I need your help and your, your support at this time. So you need to keep awake. Keep watching and praying that you may not enter into temptation. So he's really looking out for them. He says, you need to keep watching, keep praying, so that you don't enter into to temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So it's for the Bible verses. That's what Jesus was saying. So temptation is when you're tempted to do something and you know, no, you're not supposed to do it. He went away and again a, a second time and prayed. So he went and prayed and now this is the second time he went away and prayed. And he really wasn't that far away from his disciples, his followers at that time. And then he said in his prayer, My father, if this cannot pass away unless I drink it, your will be done. So in other words, God, your will be done, not mine. Again, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them again and went away and prayed a third time, saying the same thing once more. So again, he found them sleeping. Their eyes were really heavy. And then again, he left and went to pray. The same thing once more. Make sure we get all the pages here. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? So at that time, he was really in distress. He wasn't really angry at the disciples. He just says, how can you sleep at a time like this? Because Jesus knew what was going to be happening. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. So in other words, betray, it means that somebody did something against you. And then he said, get up, let us be going. Behold, the one who betrays me is at hand. So the person that did something wrong to him is coming. All right, and we're going to read the number six of the series coming up really soon. And you can just click on the link below, homeschoolforlife.org, to get the complete series. So I'll be reading um, number six.
number six of the series really soon. Thank you.